So I am genuinely thrilled to be here today with the quite legendary Jeanette and Ian Tuff, a.k.a. the Crankies. Yes. So to you, thank you ever so much for your time today. Yeah, welcome. Pleasure. So I'm chatting with you both today for your latest panto venture, which is obviously Dick Whittington at the uh-huh. Birmingham Hippodrome. Now, you, I suppose, you've been entertaining audiences incredibly for over 50 years now. Correct. Do days like today and being in panto, does it still carry the same excitement getting in the costume and getting oh, into yeah, the Oh, yeah, it does, yeah, yeah. but they're, um, they're not normally as big as this press no, this co- coverage. This, is, this has been a long one today, and it's been more rewarding to do it, what we've done today, than usual press calls, because you usually just get a bank of photographers, they take pictures and, and, go. and, and go, you know. Also, it's nice to meet the whole cast normally. To get everybody together is very hard these days, isn't it? I mean, we were still missing Steve because uh, he's doing EastEnders, but we've got everybody else, which is great. So and, we get to the meet everybody again. You know? We get to talk to everybody yeah. too. And how's it been getting to meet, like, John Good. and Matt? Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, we know John inside out. So yeah. it's, 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 and I've, I've known Matt, not worked with Matt, but we've seen Matt work for about yeah, seven yeah, years. Yeah. Always used to go and see his pantomimes. Yeah, yeah. he's very funny, man. Sorry, how important is it for you, um, who the people you have around you in Panto, um, do you find it particularly important that you get the right people? Oh, yes. Sure? If there's somebody you knew was like trouble, you on or not. If we had it had them to, before. It, it has to gel, it has to be a friend. Because you're here for six weeks or eight weeks in rehearsals, twice a day, you're together all the time. If you get one person that's not in that mix, it can be awful. Yeah. But if you're all fun together, it makes it... I think we've we've always been lucky, really. Yeah. There's not... It's not a, you can, no, can out of the 50 years that we've been doing, you can count in the one hand the ones that you think, well, I don't know about the them. It was the, mainly at the beginning. When we were straight off TV and some of the older pros kind of resented us they, arriving. Then the times yeah. where they put people like the gladiators and you know yeah. uh, you know uh, and i mean they were they were in a, a lot of money because of the name for the telly but they, they just weren't you know they didn't belong in fear. Some, some of them you had to like when they, when they were doing a line with you you had to pull their costume so that they said it now because they would come in too early yeah. and, you know? <laughs> not quite experienced though. no, no. <laughs> and obviously as, as as we touched upon you've worked with john several times yeah. before yeah. now so you must be excited about getting oh, yeah. to do it again with it, was, it was just nice to see him because we missed him last year we were david hasselhoff last year and we missed we missed john but um it was it you know uh, he said he said if, if i hadn't if i was going to work with him he was never going to speak to me again, but he's speaking. Yeah. You won't have, I'll never speak to you again. Yeah, you won't be doing that, so I'll never speak to you again, but uh, you did. <laughs> and obviously you're with Kudos Productions, so yeah. it's going to be yeah. a big, lavish treat. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you guys, having done so many shows, so many panters, can you tell the difference when you step into the ring with a company like Kudos? Oh, yeah. Well, the backup's wonderful. Yeah. That's the main back. thing, the backup, down from the music to the lights to the right. sound. Everything Company makes, manager, makes, everything's, everything's spot on. Spot on. And w- there's nothing worse than going on with a microphone. That, and it suddenly it, doesn't it, come it, on it, 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 you've said three words and then it comes on. You know, like that, and, you know, and you and always you know, know the confidence you have with the people that you're working with is fantastic. Yeah. And that makes it easier for us. And um, with, with Panto, um, obviously you, you, you've been working in the industry for a number of years now. Um, comedy and theatre, they're organic things, they change with time. But yeah. Panto almost seems a little impervious to that. It almost seems to be within its own little time bubble. Have mm-hmm. you noticed any major differences? Oh, um, yeah, uh, you can bring it up to date uh, by doing different characters within it. Yeah. I mean, like, um, because we were with David Hasselhoff last year, I just did Pamela Anderson on a surfboard, you know, an electric surfboard that was remote controlled. Madonna was across the road in, in the hydro in Glasgow. She had remote controls, and they all went wrong, and Annie Lee ended up in the pit. So, and, and hers went off as well. So, and well, then... Well, yeah, we, the change is you bring in television or you're bringing... Uh, those characters, not, not those people, but playing them in, into it. Of course, way back Comedy when we roles. were first started, there was only two channels, black, were black and white, so you didn't... Theatre was strictly theatre then. Yeah. Uh, whereas the kids Whereas would, now you can, you can uh, uh, rearrange the pop world. I mean, the pop I've, been, can be arranged, I've yeah. been Lady Gaga, I've been, like, <laughs> I've been um, Amy Winehouse, and then I got this fantastic mic wig made for Amy Winehouse. Nice and it, yeah. Yeah, but it, it, instead of rehab, I had a big key bab on it. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and 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 then when and, and my friend Ben Nicholas is a comic in, the, in in Turkey and he had one made and his had a door in the front and he took a bottle of Guinness out and drank it. <laughs> but when when the night she died, we were we were at a barbecue and Ben was working and I went, well that's two Amy Winehouse wigs for sale. <laughs> 
tribute, you know. Is it, he could have started up a tribute, huh? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. got to wait a wee while, haven't you? Yeah, got you the know. next night. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but basic humour's still the same. You know, we've got kids, grandmothers coming with their children, laughing at what they laughed at yeah. way back 30, 34 yeah. years ago. It doesn't change that, that much, they know. but it's funny. The it's characters funny. make it different, so... Yeah. And of course you're returning to the Hippodrome, yeah. which boasts the UK's biggest yes, pantomime. Yeah. So are you excited to be getting back in front of oh, Birmingham yes, audiences? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. It, was always, it was always a good city for us, even in yeah. the club days, you know, when the night out was going and the crest at Solly Hall and all that. And These were big clubs and we used to work places like that with support knacks, you know, like... Well, the week uh, uh, Tony Christie or the... the, the Different people. Jean with Pitney Jean, we worked with you. Jean Pitney we worked with at the Crest at Sully Hall. And Roy Orbison. And funnily Emily enough, Brothers. we were working for a week with him and we were on before him and he watched us every night, Jean Pitney did. Before we were in. And he signed an LP at the end of the, the week saying, um, you two are the most entertaining act I've worked with oh, and right. you're going to make it really big. And we've still got the LP yeah, with the cover. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant and, testimony. and we yeah. met him on Blankety Blank years and years and years later. And he remembered, he, he said, said, I, I told you, you. would make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he was out in Australia and yeah. we, we met his MD. So that was, that so. was, this was a great entertainment town. I mean, yeah. you, apart from the nightclub side of it, you had your working men's clubs in the yeah. 70s. And then you had your pubs to the entertainment as well. Macadown. The Macadown and, and, yeah. So it was a great, that, that's why we lived in Coventry in those days. Yeah. It was easy to get Kept to work. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. And I have to mention, we've, we've spoke about your you know, 50 years of working in the industry, yeah. Yeah. that last year you celebrated a similar anniversary of you two meeting and getting together, Aye, um, so I have to say congratulations Thank first you. and foremost, that's yeah. very rare, especially in showbiz, yeah. Yeah. so how have you balanced that 50 years both working and living together? Uh, I do what I like, he does what he's told. <laughs> <laughs> he should do the gags, man. No, like a uh, formula. Uh, we, we, we share things, we share I things. I think possibly one of the big secrets is you can't afford to fall out because you've got to work that night together. Yeah. You can't be hating no, each other. You so can't. you have to settle your arguments very quick. Well, we don't, we, we we're more arguments now because we don't work as yeah. much. So. <laughs> Our arguments, we, we used to have more arguments on stage about something you each other had done wrong rather than, than personal arguments. Yeah. But that and we always, we always used to have two separate dressing rooms because if you come off the stage and you're, somebody's done something, they're not timed something right. You have to walk away from yeah, it. Yeah, you have to walk away, you have to separate. Or else it'll end up. We used to see that years ago in Variety when we'd, we'd see working... I was backstage in Geneva, and you'd see old pros palming the heck out of each other <laughs> with someone wrong there. And that's why I said, we better have two dressing rooms. Yeah. I, I'd hate to see it go like that. And Ian does all the cooking, I don't cook at all. Yep. So Sounds like a fantastic can't can't, cooker. No, so can't I'm sure you can buy small cookers. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, just finally, quickly before we finish, to audiences who are coming to Dick Whittington or perhaps considering mm -hmm. coming, what can they expect when the show opens in, at the Hippodrome in December? The a wonderful quality of a show. Most spectacular show you've seen with, well, uh, 3D, but some of the best special effects you've ever Monsters seen. Monsters. And, and great comedy from Matt Slack ourselves. And believe it or not, John. Yeah. We're all and, so and I, think the, I think it'll be the one of the funniest shows you've seen for a long time in yeah. here. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and let them judge that. <laughs> You're Fantastic. quite funny, aren't you? Well, um, <laughs> sometimes. Fantastic. Ian, Jeanette, thank you ever so much. You're for very, very, very welcome. It's been a pleasure to meet you and I'm looking thank forward you. to the show. Lovely, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs>